Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. The cloudy skies, the cool weather, and the rain continues on again, off again as we go throughout the evening. Temperatures today only in the 50s, but a large part of the afternoon we were only in the 40s thanks to the clouds and the drizzle and the fog that we had across our region. Right now you can see another batch of some showers and some isolated storms moving through parts of McLennan County. Now it's just to the north over toward Lacey Lakeview right now. Again, nothing severe, but we just heard a little thunder not long ago as it tracks off to the north. Most other areas are reporting maybe some drizzle and a lot of cloud cover on top of us. There's the big picture. We are to the north of the warm front, and that's why we're seeing that drizzle. We're also seeing the rather cool temperatures, too. Again, average high should be in the mid-70s. We were much cooler than that. That warm front also plays part in our temperature, and I'll show you that in just a second. But how much rainfall have we seen? Not much here in Waco, only six one-hundredths of an inch, about a third of an inch up toward the Hillsboro area. It gets a little heavier, Brennan, very close to an inch, a fourth down toward the uh, College Station area, and you can see pretty light amounts just off to our west. Now, look at these temperatures. Again, Temperatures closer to the warm front, at least down toward the Brazos Valley. We're in the 60s uh, at this hour. We've got some 50s just off to our east. We are in the mid to upper 40s, 47 degrees right now in Waco, and temperatures barely hanging on to the 40s. we got 42 degrees from Comanche over toward the Brownwood area, and the fog is out there. Two miles visibility right now in Waco, five in Hearn over toward Limpasas current visibility at two. So again, if you have to be out in the roads tonight, just take it easy. It is wet out there. Visibilities are not best. And again, if you get a rain shower moving through, that'll also knock down the visibility. Right now, though, we are watching that warm front and we're going to see if it moves our way and it really doesn't move too much to the north. So even by midnight tonight, temperatures holding pretty steady in the middle 40s. Eventually that warm front will kind of get rid of it uh, itself by uh, kind of falling apart and we'll take the place here with a kind of a front, another cold front coming through here. So we're, we're going to see a series of little disturbances, but bottom line, all you need to know is by seven tomorrow morning, it's going to be raining out there and you may need to leave a little early from work. Make sure you have the umbrella and the jacket because temperatures are only going to be in the 40s. And as we go throughout the day, we're still talking 40s for high temperatures, which is again well below average. A few spotty showers here and there off to our east, but then high pressure begins to work its way in overnight Wednesday into Thursday and that'll allow yeah a very chilly start with upper 20s and lower 30s on Thursday but a lot of sunshine and temperatures climbing into the upper 40s and lower 50s as we hit the afternoon. But tomorrow, some of those thunderstorms could get a little obnoxious here, especially to our south, so we're under a marginal risk of severe weather. Again, hail may be the biggest concern since it's going to be cold enough aloft, but once that clears, we do have some freezing weather to talk about. A freeze watch in effect, that's tomorrow night into Thursday. Does not include Waco, but areas just off to our west, we're talking upper 20s to lower 30s. So yes, that is the first freeze of the season. 44 degrees to Tonight, it'll be cloudy with areas of fog and drizzle, and there's that 90% chance of showers with a clap of thunder out there, and tomorrow kind of the same. 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms, only 49 degrees. That is it for the high temperature. Here's your scare cast. Again, all that clears out of our area, but that means we're going to get cold with those light winds and clear skies. 48 degrees at 6 o'clock, and you notice temperatures all night long falling. 38 by 10, so that means the kids need the layers before they head out trick-or-treating or at least get a coat underneath. It's going to be cold out there, that is for sure. Take a look at the long-range forecast. We are looking at sunny weather and slightly warmer weather as we hit the weekend. Again, Sunday, we turn the clocks back an hour, don't forget, and temperatures next week in the 60s and low 70s and down toward Bryan and College Station. Kind of the same story. We're looking at some warmer weather. Looks good for the game on Saturday, and again, that daylight saving time ends, so we turn the clock back Sunday early in the morning.